Robert Aver here with the LA Sports Network inside the Honda Center for the 2013 John R. Wooden Classic where the UCLA Bruins are set to take on the San Diego State Aztecs. Now UCLA came into this season with a ton of hype, the nation's number one recruiting class, but early setbacks have put the Bruins back. An early loss to Georgetown and an embarrassing home loss to Cal Poly. San Diego State, meanwhile, enters this game ranked number 23 in the country with 25 consecutive wins against teams in the state of California, 10 consecutive wins against Pac-12 opponents, and they're fresh off a victory over USC. Now coming up, a battle for Southern California basketball supremacy here on the LA Sports Network. are the mighty Bruins, the best team in the West. We're marching on a victory to conquer all the rest. We are the mighty Bruins, triumphant evermore. And you can hear from far and near the mighty Bruins roar. Robert Aber back here with the LA Sports Network for tonight's Keys to the Game. Zone defense. Look for UCLA to come out in a zone defense tonight. The Bruins surprisingly switched up from a man-to-man -man defense to a zone defense last week in a victory against Cal State Northridge. Also for UCLA, look for key contr contributions from freshman superstar Shabazz Muhammad, Kyle Anderson, and Jordan An Adams. For San Diego State, Look for San Diego to go to their leading scorer and leading rebounder, Jamal Franklin, early on. Two starters are questionable for San Diego State, so look for them to rely on Franklin throughout the ball game. My final prediction, the injuries are too much for San Diego State to overcome tonight. UCLA 68, San Diego State 59. We'll see if that prediction holds true later on here on the LA Sports Network. UCLA at halftime, 31 to 29 here at the John R. Wooden Classic. Both teams struggled offensively to start the half. As expected, UCLA came out in his own defense. Superstar freshman Shabazz Muhammad ended the half in a flurry, throwing down a left-handed tomahawk dunk. Now before the game, we learned that freshman for UCLA, Tony Parker, would not play due to a sprained ankle. Along with the departures of Josh Smith and Tyler Lamb, UCLA now has only seven scholarship players available. Be interesting to see if they can keep up with San Diego State here in the second half at the John R. Wooden Classic. Well, who owns Los Angeles? Well, we found out tonight as the San Diego State Aztecs completed their sweep of the local Pac-12 schools, USC and UCLA, with a victory here at the John R. Wooden Classic, 79-68. San Diego State's Jamal Franklin proved to be the best player in the court with his game-high 28 points. The turning point in the game came with five minutes left when Franklin picked the pocket of UCLA Shabazz Muhammad, took it the length of the floor, and threw down a right tomahawk dunk. San Diego State moves to 5-1 and one on the year, where UCLA moves to a disappointing 5-3, and three, and you gotta ask yourself just how hot is Ben Howland's coaching seat right now. Live from the Honda Center, that's gonna do it for us tonight. I'm Robert Avery with the LA Sports Network. A bit of breaking news and a bit of sad news as Rick Majerus, former coach of the Utah Utes, passed away. And it was in this building years ago when Majerus led his Utah Utes team to defeat number one seed and defending national champion the Arizona Wildcats on the way to a Final Four appearance. In addition, Majerus once coached the USC Trojans. 
Here at the LA Sports Network, we'd like to send our deepest condolences to Rick Majerus' family and players.